so like last year, we are overwintering our ducks and chickens and geese in a hoop house. But we have quite a bit of things that have changed this year compared to last year. For one, we have twice as many birds this year as we did last year. Diane built a much bigger roost in order to discourage pecking. And it's been working out really well. Also, this is a really beautiful roost. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Some other changes from this year compared to last year is uh, the way we store their food in this nice big bin here. They've got more nesting boxes and areas in here compared to last year. However, the chickens still manage to find new places to lay. Here uh, are their red pepper flakes, oregano and onion powder. Red pepper flakes helps keep them warm. The others are for parasites, yeah. Keep your bellies nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> this is their treat bucket. Look at that. Their outdoor run is different as well. We gave them more space. And this year we used a deer fence. So it's much taller so they can't fly over it. Also help because last year we got like a foot or two of snow in their area and it basically made the fence nothing. It turned it into nothing. Buried the fence yeah. and we couldn't keep up with it. So this year with the taller fence we'll have more of a chance of keeping up. Since the temperatures have been abnormally warm and we haven't had really any snow, we've been letting them free range throughout the day and then we just put them up there at night. It's been working really well and we're prepared for when the temperatures do eventually drop and when we do get snow. Something else that's new this year is we've got a frostless hydrant installed, which has really changed our lives and our chores, our winter chores. The frostless hydrant, you're, I guess, only supposed to use it like once per day because all the water drains back down. It doesn't stay in the line and that's why it doesn't freeze. But all that water has to go somewhere and it just ends up at the base of that post where the water comes in. So. If you use it a bunch, you end up with, I guess, like a big puddle or a little lake down there, and it's not good. So we only use it once a day. We have to be strategic and fill our buckets, and we fill our barrel. Use that for the rest of the day. Go away. <laughs> Is this to pump the extra water into the buckets? And it's a much shorter distance carrying these buckets to the pools. Last year, we had to carry buckets from our bathtub mm -hmm. all the way from, so it was from the house. And, and it was like 10 buckets a day, I Minimum. Guess? It was a lot, it was exhausting. <laughs> yeah, and we were tromping through the snow. So yeah. this year is so much easier and better with mm -hmm. the frostless hydrant. We're very grateful for it. This is our winter hay stock. This will be good for the whole winter for the birds. We store it in the barn here. And then this is where they are in the summer, where we keep them at night. Um, so this side is dedicated to ducks because it has the lower fencing here. And this other side is for the chickens. And in the winter, we turn it into hay storage. Yeah. Hey! This is another new thing we have this year, the silkies. And... They get their own special space. This is our winter silky greenhouse. It's small um, and we lined it with hay bales to make it less drafty at the base. And then we added an extra layer of panels this year. We have this little uh, chick cozy um, heater. heater and it turns up nice and high and it keeps them warm. They all climb in here together. Um, and this bin here is insulated on the top and the sides with hay, but they kick it all out and then they lay their eggs back here. Hello! Yeah, we've got uh, cilantro started. Got oregano going from last fall, or last winter, summer. Got mint struggling to survive. Got parsley thriving. <laughs> <laughs> got thyme taking its time. Lavender from this last summer, still growing. 
that's our winter coop tour for all of our chickens and birds and ducks. We have 50 birds or so this year and it's been... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So it's been a lot easier keeping them warm just by the sheer volume of birds, but also yeah. this winter has been significantly warmer in comparison to last winter. That's where we're at. It's worked out so far. It's worked out really well, I yeah. think.